The loss of a child is an unbearable experience, perhaps the worst form of, of, of bereavement that a person can suffer. And we must make sure that parents are supported throughout what must be one of the hardest periods in their lives. Now, the bill allows for a minimum of two weeks bereavement leave for eligible employers, but how these two weeks can be taken, say whether they must be taken in one go or if uh, it would be permissible to take them in various non-consecutive blocks, has been left um, undecided. Grief, after all, affects each of us differently, and while it may suit some bereaved parents to take two weeks off in one go, that will not be true for them all. After all, it is the intent of this bill to provide additional support to parents mourning a loss and in order to be truly beneficial, there should be some flexibility in the entitlement that, so that parents can use it in a way that best suits their individual needs. Now, nobody expects to bury their own son or daughter, and it goes against nature for a parent to lose a child. And this is true whether a child is of school age or whether they are grown up with children of their own. But I do think there is something different about the loss of a child, because the number of years of life lost is greater and the number of years that they could have contributed to the joy of the family or indeed enjoyed themselves is, uh, is less. My instinct is still that the age of 18, because it is the age that's recognised in law currently uh, for adulthood, seems to be the right age if, if we need to draw a line and put some parameters on this. I think this is, a, this is one of the topics, as I said at the beginning, that shows the house at its best. It's something I completely support. I have never had to and hope I never have to go through the anguish and pain that far too many of my colleagues have had to go through by losing a child and far too many of my constituents. And I think it's absolutely right that we pass this law today to show that we stand with them and with anybody who suffers this huge pain in the future and the government's on their side.